Snatch loads. What does it mean to your life and to your choice in connecting rod fastener? I'm David Freiberger. You know me from media outlets like Hot Rod Magazine and Engine Masters and the J.E. Pistons Masters of Motors contest. Well, today I'm talking about boost line rods, which are designed specifically for big power outer applications, and your options for the connecting rod bolts that come with them. Now, the reason you gotta consider this is something that a lot of guys don't think about a bunch. Usually when you wanna buy an aftermarket connecting rod, you're thinking about cramming boost and shoving the rod together and keeping it from bending. Well, think about going the other way. The piston's on its way up the cylinder and it's gotta stop and reverse direction and go the other way. You're looking at 7,000 RPM, that piston is snatching and returning 58 times a second and the loads on that piston get way worse with piston weight, with piston speed, so the bigger the stroke, the worse it is, the higher the RPM, the worse it is, and that's why you gotta think about rod bolts, because every time that piston reverses direction from TDC, it is trying to pull this connecting rod apart. It's trying to literally stretch it. Now, on this application here, this is an LSV8 rod. It has the standard, well standard for boost line, ARP2000 bolt in it. The ARP8740 is the standard for the industry. These have an upgrade to begin with and it's also a 3 8 bolt and so it can handle what you're gonna do to it. But you start getting into a sport compact application where you can also buy a boost line rod and you physically cannot package a 3 8 bolt at the big end of the rod and that's why there is an option for these smaller fastener diameters on a sport compact rod to to use the ARP625 Plus bolt. So let's look at some of the data as far as the tensile and yield strength on this upgraded fastener. I mentioned that the 8740 chromoly bolt is the standard in the industry for a basic connecting rod. Now it's got a yield strength of 180,000 pounds, tensile of 190,000. The boost line automatically comes with the upgraded ARP 2000 rod bolt and the specs on that are 200,000 for yield and 220,000 for tensile. But when you go to the 625 plus material, it goes up to a yield strength of 235 to 255,000 pounds and the tensile strength of 260 to 280,000 pounds. The other thing about the 625 plus material is that it doesn't just have that tensile strength, which is the pulling apart strength, but it also has a little bit of ductility because that cap does have a little bit of a bending moment on it at some points in the stroke. And that's why they've developed that superior material. So once again, if you're dealing with a V8, fortunately you've got a larger fastener and you can just buy that boost line rod and you're good to go. But if you've got a sport compact, if you're looking at a lot of RPM, a lot of stroke, you might want to consider that fastener upgrade. Want to learn more? Go to blog.boostlineproducts.com.